It's a lot of fight that you guys have. We're not gonna f stop fighting. We're gonna bring her home. If you guys know anything, please let us know where, you know, where Jalissa is. I mean, if you, the ones that have her, like, she's ours. Like, please let her go. New at 11, a Selma family is asking for your help in locating their missing daughter. 22 year old Jalissa Fuentes was seen last Sunday at an AM PM gas station. Our family's not complete. It's not complete without her or incomplete till she comes home. Now, loved ones are also expecting help from the independent divers involved in the high profile search for trucky teen Kylie Rodney. We're here in Selma, California, looking for 22 year old. Julissa Fuentes. Julissa was last seen August 7th, 2022. Right behind me here is the AM PM where she was last seen on video surveillance at approximately 4.06 AM. This was where Julissa's last recorded financial transaction is, as well as the last confirmed sighting of her and or her vehicle occurred. We are now gonna jump right over into meeting with Jalissa's aunt, Jalissa's cousin, and Jalissa's mom, so we can get an idea of who Jalissa was as a person, as well as the circumstances leading up to her disappearance. We really appreciate you guys being here and being brave and courageous to tell Jalissa's story. Uh, and that's, that's what we're here to do, is be a voice for Jalissa and draw awareness to Jalissa's disappearance. Two weeks old, there's still so many possibilities in this case. And um, I don't want to find your daughter. I don't want to find your niece or your cousin. I don't, um, we want her to still be out there. I want to be able to finish doing what we do and say, you don't have to worry about any of this. You guys can focus efforts and resources in a more efficient manner elsewhere. You know, so uh, I'll, I'll let Nick get started with, you know, so some of the questions that we need answered and, and it'll be really easy, you know, at any point, if there's a moment we need to take a break, you know, just let us know. Okay, thanks. Like Doug said, we appreciate this. This is gonna help us. So to start this off, what we're gonna need to know is kind of a little bit of history on Jalissa and her background. So if you can kind of give us a history of like where she was born, where she was from, where did she go to school, what kind of girl she was, what did she do for fun, possible relationships she had, things like that. She was born here in Salma, California. She went to school here. She graduated, what, two, three years ago? Mm -hmm. She's 22, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> three years ago? <laughs> yeah, she graduated, she graduated from Salma High three years ago. Jalissa liked to be with her family, um, spend a lot of time with her cousin, so her cousin knows that, that area more. Yeah. She's a very, um, like if she's around, you can't be sad, or you can't be mad, you can't hold grudges. She would be like, get over it, like, you're gonna get over it, get over it, like we're family, leave it alone, you know? If you're like sad, you're most definitely gonna laugh if she's in the room because she's a very like sarcastic person, <laughs> very sarcastic. She can't Silly. take anything serious. Yeah. Like she's always joking about something. If you're mad or whatever, she'll make a joke and you'll start laughing. You. It's just always a good time when she's around, you know. Life at the party. Yes, yes. yes. Sure. definitely. Like if you yes. Tell her definitely. to dance. She'll, she'll dance. dance. Yeah. yeah. You know, put on this silly hat. She'll put on this silly yeah. hat. Do a little. I don't know some of the videos that I put up of her. She's doing like a little dance, and then yeah. she's telling all her brothers. And you do it. You do it. She's very carefree. Like she doesn't. She doesn't care what anybody thinks about her. or What anybody yeah. says about her. You know. Very dependable. Yes. Very. She's a worker bee. You know. Mm -hmm. She yes. wouldn't miss work. That's why we knew too when um, you know when she went missing that. That Monday morning, I, I went to her job and waited out there just in case she showed up. Just in case she showed up to work, you know? Yeah. And um, when she didn't show up, 
you know, even more so our hearts were broken because she never does a no call, no show. Mm -hmm. She's worked at her employer for almost two years and, you know, so her not spending her money and we know something's wrong because mm -hmm. Julissa, she was a saver. Like she yeah. saved all her money, <laughs> bought her own car, like yeah. paid cash. Paid cash. <laughs> Responsible. Yes. yes. And she, she, you know, she still had her money in the bank and um, she just loved her family. Like she loved, she was very silly, hilarious, mm -hmm. <laughs> outgoing. Um, you knew she was there. She was a presence. Mm -hmm. And so um, not having her in our in our household has been presence is missing you know and it's going to be missing until we find her and that's why we're so grateful to you guys because we know and we're praying and trusting in god that she's not out there but we need to move from that like you said and, and we need to move for to keep searching and so but 100 percent if this was anybody else Jul in our family Julissa would be doing the same yes. thing she, would, she yeah. would be the one out there and saying not stop these kiddos like her brother <laughs> and her sister and Sky and her, and her boyfriend, boyfriend have been out they get up crack of dawn six <laughs> o'clock in the morning till two thirty, three o'clock in the morning every day every day non-stop that's our that was our that was our morning six o'clock we get up mm -hmm. we're out there till 11 12 o'clock night all of us searching these calling fields, each calling we're, each other. Yeah. We're, we're, we're over here. Our locations. locations now. Locations yeah. is a mess for all of us now. Like uh -huh. we need to know where we're at, and so it's a lot of fight that you guys have. We're not gonna f stop fighting. We're yeah. gonna bring her home. Like we're gonna bring her home. We know and we trust that she's out there somewhere, and we're gonna bring her home. So whoever has her, or if she's with someone, we're not gonna stop looking. You, you guys need to know that we're not gonna stop looking. Like we are gonna find her. Like. There is no way that we're not going to find her. Um, can you tell me about any sort of like uh, hobbies that she liked to do or things she liked to do on her free time? She loved to go out of town. Like that was her thing. Yeah, drive. She liked to go to the beach. Um, she liked to go to the lake. She just liked to kind of go places where she could clear her mind if she Exploring needed to. Exploring and yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Like being out. You know. <laughs> yeah. But she. Yeah. But the one thing about her is she didn't ever drive on freeway. Yeah. She yeah no. She doesn't know how to drive on the freeway. Yeah. She was just scared. She so going a long freeway. ways from yeah. here. I like that. Yeah. I like that. She wouldn't ever drive on the yeah. freeway. So if she did drive on the freeway, we know someone was driving her. Yeah. So yeah. it was either her friend, yes. her brother. Is there a reason for that? She's just scared of the. She's just house. scared of the freeway. She never even drove to my house yeah. in Fresno. Yeah. Yeah. I live in Fresno. My my, <laughs> my son would drive them to my house because she doesn't drive on the freeway. And my 16-year-old drives on the freeway, and she, he'd be like, "Come on, Jalissa, like, why aren't you driving? You know, she's get like, it together." No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, "No, the freeway." So we know for sure that, that if so she's okay. on the freeway, like, she's someone has her because she would drive to like Pine Flat or Avocado. Yeah, um, that's it. Like, she wouldn't, yeah. she wouldn't get around here. The, like the valley, yeah, yeah. No. no big freeways. Like, yeah. she was scared of them. Mm -hmm. So. So did she have? A, was she in a relationship at all? No. Not at the moment. Okay. Mm -mm. Just her friends um, mm -hmm. um, that she hangs out with. Um, I I know that I don't know if you're familiar with this. She did go to like a, a family friends um, gathering that was like a party for a family friend, and she was there. And um, you know from that on. And where and where was that at? That was here in it's Selma. A, it's like down the street from my grandma's house. From her house. And and, her, and that when was the party? That same day she went missing. The same day she went missing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that mm -hmm. morning, she left there. I think uh, was it about two? Two thirty ish, three o'clock. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the morning. Yeah, okay. she left there about 2.33, and then she came home. She called she Joey, baby Joey, and then from there, that last thing, she was at the AM, PM at 4.06 AM. She takes off to the country, and then at 5.24, 5.26, mm -hmm. she makes a FaceTime call to my daughter. So she was at an AM, PM gas station. That's where she was caught on video Good surveillance, yes. and that's here in Selma. Yes, yes. down the street. And then this was after the party. After the party. Okay. At and, and, and do we know what she was doing at the gas station? She was buying, buying something. She bought something, and then she she swiped her car. She walked into the car, and then she took off mm -hmm. west. Do we know what she bought? I don't know. They didn't tell us. Didn't tell us. We wanted to see the receipts, and they. They kept everything. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so the, the but the police department has that. They probably okay. do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure because, I mean, they that whole time when we were um, when she went down Nebraska. Um, Nebraska we were, Avenue. Yeah, right? we yeah. were searching all that time, but um, I guess they had the footage already that she had came back into town, and, and we they, didn't know. We were out there in the country for days. days. For days. Yeah. All out of there, us. All of us. For like, and even our family week. was. We were going through roads mm -hmm. and. 
Like, and so, so you, you, you said they have her coming back into town. Right. When, like, what was the time gap there? They didn't tell us they the time. They just said her phone was pinged in the avocado Pine Flat Lake area that morning. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. that, and that was the last ping. Right. We didn't get that until, like, I don't know how many days the, after. barely last week, right? Mm -hmm. Because we started searching on our own. So we were out there for a whole week, like, with major search teams, searching mm -hmm. those fields, those vineyards, those ditches, those trees. Um, I abandoned mean, houses. Abandoned houses, abandoned property, um, you know, for about a week having mass searches out there, that whole area, drones, um, Eagle One, we, they reached out and Eagle One was helicoptering yeah, yeah, yeah. out there yeah. and and, and um, then they ended up coming. We didn't find out she turned back into the news conference that they had, yeah. that she came back into town and that's when we knew like, whoa, she came back into town. We didn't know, we spent so, so much time. So how do they know she came back into town? Was they said they have her on camera. They, they have her footage of her coming back in town because I was like, when um, the chief called my husband, where they were talking, and I said, "Well, do you guys have her? Like, did she come back into town by her, you know, by herself?" And he goes, "I could tell you she came back and, you know, came back from the country by herself, but I'm not going to tell you where." Did they give a time? No. No. And they didn't tell us, um, like, because when she went out, they said she was by herself, so they said possibly she drove through Sanger, and so right because they said Sanger on the on the conference and. Um, so Sanger is going towards Avocado Lake. Mm -hmm. You go through that town, right? And she would go through there because I don't think she would go the other yeah. round because it's a freeway. And so she had to go through um, little roads. Yeah, she had to go through little roads. And so, um, but they didn't say at that point if she was with someone at that time. So they wouldn't disclose to us. And so we were like, wow, you know, we had many people out there searching for days, days. out there, days. 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 Yeah. And so I mean, coming into this, everybody's been telling me. Pine Flat, Avocado Lake, and I mean, those still are areas of interest for me. Yeah. Um, I guess my biggest question in this at the moment is, um, we have to identify if they know it was her in the vehicle. So if they're confident that it was her vehicle, I, I need to know how, like, where, how do they know she was in the vehicle? You know what I mean? Um, or, you know, it's an active investigation, so they're never going to be right. open the way you want them to. Yeah. Um, I know that's not what you guys want to hear, and it's not helping your, your hearts or your minds, right. um, but it, it, that's normal because, yeah. you know, they always have to investigate things, you know, for the worst case scenario, and they have to treat everybody like they may be a suspect. Yeah. So, so they're not going to be open all the yeah, time. Yeah, we, we, told, we them told them that. <laughs> Investigate us first, we, please. We said, please, please, you know, get because, us out the way. Yeah, we yeah. said, please start with, on, us, you know, start with us, start move, with us, because we know how it, how it is. Yeah, start with us, we're all open. Yeah. Come to our house, rip them apart, do what you need to do to get us out of the way so you can focus on her and, right. and where you need to go because we, you know, we, we're trusting in you guys, you know, and so yeah. we understand that whole part of them not being able to divulge information to us because mm -hmm. it could be critical and there's so many of us and, you know, we told them, but we're a resource to you guys. If you guys, you're, a, you know, you're not a, we're, we don't have a big department here and they're doing the best that they can, but we're a resource, you know, and you tell us that you have a, a bigger, a, a smaller location, we can have over 100 people here mm -hmm. searching. Mm -hmm. You yeah. just, we're, we're a resource. Mm -hmm. And so we, we will be present. We just need your help, you know? Mm -hmm. And so, and they're doing their best. We know they are, they're, they, they limited resources, people, you know, right. the time of COVID and people getting ill, it's, it's, it's just, but um, that's why we started to reach out. And if she's in those waters, we just need that peace of mind to move on from right. there, so. And then do you guys, have any theories as to what happened to her? The thing about Jalissa, she always told people where she was. Like, she told me that night that she was at her friend's gathering, and then she called her brother to tell him that she was going to the AMPM. And I don't know what the last call was for, but to her sister later on that night, but she did always call and tell people where she was going. She never would go somewhere without leaving everybody clueless about where she was. She's smart. Yes. Yeah. She's, she's, she's smart. She Give knows. somebody like a little heads yeah. up. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Know. Always, yeah. yeah. And they said that she made a phone call at 526 AM. Yeah, it was the last time she ever, time. that we so know to us that she called, she, she called my, my, my sister, <laughs> my that, daughter. <laughs> at that hour, is the sun just coming up? Like, is oh. it? It's just coming yeah, up. Yeah, it's just coming up. Yeah. There's light. It's still kind of dark. It's but still yes. kind of dark, but there's like, do you know the light? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, and it takes about, from the a.m. p.m. if she was at Avocado Lake. So, like, for us, we're like, okay, well, she was out there at 4.06, and then the call came at 5-something. There's a whole hour there. Like, what, what happened in that hour? Right. Like, hour there's something place. going, something yeah. happened. She stopped somewhere. She went somewhere. So we have done all the coordinates. We started <laughs> mapping. We did the timing. <laughs> so it took about, like, it takes, like, about almost 45 minutes to an hour to get to Avocado Lake from a.m. p.m. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we timed it and tried to, like, see the routes, how we would possibly go. We stopped at people's houses. Do you have cameras? Everybody, you know, if you can let us know your cameras to see at your homes, you know, just to mm -hmm. take the time to look. We're more than willing to go put the time in to look at your cameras if you're too busy, you know, mm -hmm. so. So no no other financial transactions on her card. That we know. They that told us know. no. They said that that was the last purchase that she made there. Mm -hmm. She didn't have credit cards. She didn't, she didn't like to, you know, she was really good with her money. Yeah, <laughs> she was she like, was I ain't paying for that. Like, I'm keeping my money. <laughs> so did, did, did she carry large amounts of cash or? No, no. She no. kept everything on her card. Yeah, that's why we know. Like, she hasn't used any of her money. She has all this money in the bank. And she's, it's just nothing. I don't know if they, they have information and they're probably not, you know. We don't know because, you know, disclosing, they don't want to, like, hinder um, their operation. Um, but... And, I, and we understand that we're a huge family and we have so many people <laughs> willing to help mm -hmm. that they know that if they tell us something, we're gonna yeah. go in a mass number to go search or mm -hmm. what. So they've really been, you know, um, but. Which we, just, we have. Which we, we have. have. <laughs> which we have. We have like, but because yeah, she's ours, really you know, all go she's our priority, you know. I mean, we, we, we appreciate everybody and everything, but when it comes down to it at the end of the day, we don't still have her home, you know. We still have that void, and we're still looking, and we're going to continue to look until she comes home. She's our baby. Yeah. She's our baby girl. Our so baby. we gotta, we gotta find her. We gotta bring her home. Yeah. Was was there any at any time any type of drugs related in her life, or was there anybody in her circle that was involved with drugs or? Um, drinking and just well, like drinking. drinking. Just yeah, normal, so. just normal yeah. drinking uh, party. Not like. Any like, social hardcore drugs that yeah okay yeah. all right yeah. And, and where did you guys work and um, at custom produce in Perler. okay so my sister-in-law my other sister-in-law uh, runs or well, runs that whole packing house and so that's yeah. the daughter Pro produce packing house yeah, yeah. She's okay and she's the manager there and then this is my niece and then that's where Jalissa worked so who initially reported her missing grandma right grandma how did that happen like it was like all right we have to do this grandma went to church and then um, texted her and then she didn't respond. Grandma goes to church, comes back out, and sends her another text message. She doesn't respond. She knew something was wrong. Mm -hmm. And she said, you know, and we always have a family joke. Like, if she doesn't answer, then she was like, hey, you need to get a hold of Alyssa. Or like, you know what I mean? Like, it, or any of the kids. Like, if you don't call within eight hours, yeah. we're on you. Like, hey, where are you at? And so when she didn't, she didn't respond. text her, respond back. My mom texted her, hey, um, you know, you don't text me right now or call me, I'm calling the FBI. Like we play, <laughs> we say that to each other. Yeah. And then boom, she's like, okay, I'm here. You know, I'm here. I mean, yeah. you know, I fell asleep or whatever, but mm -hmm. never, never a whole day, like never, never yeah. more than like eight hours. Never. She's always checking in. So mm -hmm. we knew instantly like something was wrong. Like we were on it. We like, this is out of her character. And, and, and were you there when that happened? No, no, no. I live in Fresno. Yeah. Okay. I live in Fresno. Grandma called me like a couple hours later and she's like, hey, this is what's going on. And me and we zoomed over here so as, 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 as a mom you know w w when was that moment like you knew like something wasn't right was it when grandma called when grandma called and she said she hasn't answered um Jalissa's, Jalissa's not answering Jalissa hasn't came home so right then and there I knew there was something wrong yeah. completely out of character right? completely out of character like she would have called grandma she would have texted grandma back she would have called her brothers and sister and she wasn't so we knew like we all knew there was something wrong here did the grandma say when she tried calling or when you guys tried to call, did it go straight, straight to voicemail? I still try to call. Like, I call her every day and I tell her, like, hey, we're going to find you wherever you're at. Like, you just don't give up hope. Like, we're coming for you, Jalissa. Like, if you, ask, if you do have your phone and it turns on for some reason, like, we're blowing her up, you know, like, every day we, I'll text, I text her every day, like, I love you. Um, we're coming for you. Don't lose hope because we don't. We have faith. You were raised. In church, you raised, you raised, you know, to know the Lord, you have to have faith. We're coming for you. We're going to find you, you know. Did Jalissa have any type of uh, 
physical or health problems? No. 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 None. So she didn't take medication no. for anything? No. no. She's completely healthy, young, yeah. bright, beautiful, yeah. energetic. Yeah. Silly, super silly. <laughs> the year make and model of her vehicle? It's a Hyundai Accent, uh, 2011, silver. Four doors, correct? Four doors. Four doors. The back windows are tinted. Back windows are tinted? Yeah. Because they're a little bit bubbly, yeah, like, yeah, they're, they're Okay, coming so out. it's an older tent yeah. on the yeah. car. The license plate is AMPU766. It's engraved in our brain. Yeah. It is. <laughs> what tips have come in? Hundreds and hundreds of my phones blowing up, like, okay, we've seen this car um, mm -hmm. over here on this area. Um, what? Traver. Kingsburg. Kingsburg. Hanford. Cutler. Okay, mm -hmm. who's closer to here? Yeah. One of us go over there. It's not the yeah. car. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen this, you know, this vehicle over here, and then who's close by there? There mm -hmm. we go. Yeah. So, and so I, I was like, okay, like if you guys can take a picture, like if you see mm -hmm. or you suspect anything, take a picture of the license, send it to me, so then, mm -hmm. you know, we won't go an hour away and it, you know. We, we even went to like these mountains in Cutler Norosi. Some lady was like, no, I seen some guy standing here. That was the vehicle. So there goes me and my husband. He had to climb a big old hill and there was nothing there. But we got to check them all out right. because you, go to all little, you, you never, never know, know if it's Absolutely. that one, you know. So, so at, at the time, Jalissa was staying with Grandma. Yes. Yeah, yeah Jalissa lives with Grandma. grandma. Yeah. Yeah. Jalissa yeah. lives with Grandma. Okay. Yeah. And what about her room? Is, 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 like, is there any clothes missing? No. Is there any signs no, of no, anything? Nothing. nothing. Everything she, the bed's made. Everything. She. Nothing. Nothing. Alarming nothing. 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 All. Oh. It's still all her. Amazon bags and all her ordering, yeah. <laughs> you know. And her beds made, made like, like, everything. She it's... was gonna come, like she, her intent was to come home. Like she called her brother and he was at, in, in Fresno and he was gonna come home and said that they were gonna meet up, like, you know. She was like, go to the store, be right now. I'll go to the store. And did, did, did she have anything planned over the next few days? Any no, type no, of just to Sunday, work. Um, she usually like just relaxes because she works Monday, so. Yeah. Everything I'm getting is, this is completely uncharacteristic. Very, 100%. 100%. Um, not like her. Not, not even an, an inkling no. of not like Not her. even yes. an inkling. 100%, yes. no doubt. This is, this is very, you know, and this is alarming. You know, we're not it talking is. about someone who, you know, was familiar with, uh, you know, the streets and the life of the streets and, you know, shady characters and, that's why we knew since day one that there was something wrong because it, this is not her, like, not even a little bit. Tell me, tell me more about the cell phone information. Well, they haven't released any anything to us at all. Not a time. They didn't give a time on that page. What about, no, what they about? said early morning. Okay, Sunday. so, so tell well, they me, said five thirty to eight. Remember, five thirty to eight. The Akras? The the um, avocado, like the ping. I think it was between five thirty and eight or something like that. Okay. But that they didn't tell us like more. Like, they said a fifteen mile. Yeah, I've, I've spoken with Fresno County Sheriff. So whatever they shared with you, that's what yeah. they've only shared with you. Yeah, I've, I've spoken with the sheriff um, off the record. Uh, I, I mean, I, can, I can't tell you what she told me, okay. but, but I can tell you that uh, what, what they have was just very vague, which was just an area, and that yes. the cell phone tower in that region is not accurate like it would be in, say, the city yeah. of Fresno or Selma, where they can really get a good grip of it. Yeah. Um, so to kind of see what they know, let's, let's talk about what they did. Like, where did they go first to search? We don't know. <laughs> when we were out there searching, we didn't see, we didn't see one cop out there yeah. searching with us at all. at all. It was just us, us. For the whole week. For the whole week. Yeah. It was us yeah. and our family yeah. and our like complete strangers yeah. that were coming and searching with us. Yeah. We didn't see, we were like, we were even giving out flyers to like, if we would see like a sheriff out there yeah. in the country, we would stop by and we'd give them a thing. Yeah. They didn't even know. Yeah. They didn't even know we'd give them a flyer. And yeah. cause me and my husband, we stopped with the sheriffs. We stopped with I highway patrols. Like any, any, any time that we seen like any um, police enforcement out there, we're handing them flyers. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know. Mm -hmm. Even though we made it clear to them that this was urgent, yeah. that this is unlikely, mm -hmm. like her, um, she would not do this. Yeah. And we, st we started like- We started immediately. We started like immediately posting and then it yeah. just, mm -hmm. you know, we like knew. we got, cause we know a lot of people, you know, yeah. just that, trickled that, down. That night, you know, we were already- But we knew since day one. That, I don't know if they took it at, what to me, it seems like they didn't take it as urgent as we yeah. did. Because I mean, we under we, we understand. We, get, we understand, you know, like we understand. There's so many people just 
And they don't know. Don't, like just don't do. come home. You know, they might want to just go out. They're like, she's a, she's a typical 22-year-old. You know, kids go out. I mean, heck, I, I I can say I when I was young like that, I would I would go out and, you know, I mean, sometimes not come home. I mean, but Jalissa wasn't like she that. Knows. She made it clear to let people know that where she was at. She, I mean, Sky and her and her brother and sister, they were they were best friends, like, and they always communicated with each other. And so for her not to come home, it was just, we knew. And so the search, um, we had people that reached out to us, like uh, we had family friends that had helicopters and mm -hmm. they're like, we're out there, we want to help. Mm -hmm. Family friends that had, our, just even the public, like mm -hmm. we have drones. Mm -hmm. They've been like pushing. Um, PD said mm -hmm. that they went out there and did drones and they flew, um, that we know they never told us. And mm -hmm. so we don't really know if they told the media, then they told media, but to tell us directly, no, we don't We don't know what, what so has no, been done. So no official, you know, search parties that you know of have from been them. organized from them um, in no. the city no absolutely i don't not. yeah unless absolutely not not here not here yeah absolutely I, not. no yeah i, I in, in speaking with the lieutenant from fresno county sheriff i mean I, I know that they said they told me that they've done a lot of searching up in the hills um they i think she described over 700 miles of back road driving and um by her sheriffs I did bump into one of them, like, because mm -hmm. I, I... Probably in the hills and probably, yeah. like, a week after that yeah. we had been searching. Yeah. Yeah. Us, yeah. unknown yeah. to us. Right. Yeah. But that we knew of when we were out here in the country, there was nobody out there but us. Yes. So so no tips that were credible or have led to anything. Yes. No. no theories that, oh, this might have happened or this argument may have happened or nothing like that whatsoever. No. Well, with Julie, Julie, she did get in an argument she, that morning. Yeah, she got in an argument with her at the family gathering. It was her best friend's family gathering. She got in an argument with her friend that was there. But that's not... I mean, no, that's, it wasn't a okay. physical, like, yeah. fight yeah, yeah, or anything. Yeah. It was just a little argument. It's just a norm, well, normal... Well, everybody... Normal friend yeah. argument, okay. yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so guys, don't get that twisted. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it something I don't know? But it's if, if it's not alarming to you guys no, and your family, not, then no, it's just they, something they horrible that happened. They in for questioning. Okay. They did all that. And, yeah. um, and you so know, did we. we and we did, too. We went over there. In yeah, a mass number. Did. In a mass number. We, <laughs> yeah. we, interrogate, we interrogated her. Well, anything, that, yeah. anything, like, any little tip that we got, we go out there, like, and yeah. we investigate, like. Anything. Yeah. Anything. If something has happened to her, like, what do you guys want people to know? I mean, what, what like, at this moment, if that's the case, somebody knows something. You know, and they need to come forward. You know, so if there's anything that you want to say to those people, or to the people that may know those people that may know something, come forth. If you guys know anything, please let us know where, you know, where Jalissa is. Um, we love her, we miss her, and we need her. Home? We want her home. So if you know anything and Anything, anything that'll lead us to her, please, please let us know. I mean, if you, the ones that have her, like, she's ours, like, please let her go. That there's, that it's our family is not complete without her, and you have that power to let her go. That you just find it in your hearts to just, just to let her go. I mean, there, we don't want nothing from you. We, if you want the reward, we, we just want her. Like, just let her go. We won't drop her off somewhere or we won't say anything to anybody we just we can just be complete and but we're just asking please like just bring her home let her let her go if you have her because this is just you have family what if this was your family and someone did this to you like just let her go if Jalissa is here and you know, she is underwater. I promise you, I will find her. I promise you that. We will find her. I can, that 100%, we will find her. But like I said, I don't want that, you know? Our, our, our hope is she's still out there and she's gonna be she's found. Still out there. She's alive. She's, yeah, she is. She's, she's, she's alive. She's, she's a fighter too. Like, she's, she's gonna, so she's, yeah. you, you guys are fighters. And, she's a and anybody girl. out there that knows, you, you guys should be very extremely nervous because this family is, is not going to stop. Oh, no, we're not going to stop, stop ever. We're bringing her home. Yeah. We are not going to stop. You know, this, this, is, this is far from what you expected. And this is, uh, you know, this is going to be a voice for her that, that um, that's going to be extremely loud. We're going to make sure that 
With that being said, you know, we're here to be a resource for your family. Avocado Lake. Avocado Lake. That was Without her spot yeah. right there. Avocado Lake. And Pine Flat Dam. So explain to me, like, what, what the reasoning is for that. Like, what, what makes you say, Doug, Nick, like, you guys have to go there? A common location where she would go. She from. always went to Avocado Lake. I, she took us up there with her to Avocado Lake. That was, like, her spot. That was, like, a... If she wanted to go to the lake, that was where she was going. But if it was closed around the time that she was there, she, knowing her, she would have been like, oh, I'm, I'm already up here. I'll just go more up the mountain. I'll keep going straight. Close. Is there a gate there? I think it's at 6 that it opens the lake, the, the, lake, the gate to go into Avocado Lake. So if it was closed around that time, then mm -hmm. we would say the next spot would be Pine Flat. Yeah. And, and how long of a drive is that to get there from here? From here? About 35, 40 minutes? 40, 45? Right here. Okay. About 45. So she could have... She, she could have been there right when it opened. Yeah. 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 Because yeah. mm -hmm. uh, the AM PM was 406. 406. The last phone call was 526. Yeah. Especially if it was dark and she can't see. That's why she has her glasses. She can't see. She's blind. So. Um, that's. It, it, is there anything that we haven't asked? Is there anything that you want to talk about? Just, you know, we're pr hoping and we're praying for you guys that yeah. you guys are guided to the right direction. Yes. Yeah. We hope you guys don't find her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We really do, but if she's out there, we want her. Yeah. Yeah. We, we want her home. Yeah. So we're just praying that, you know, God gives you the guidance and gives you guys eyes like eagles and yeah. <laughs> that you are able to, you know, search the right locations. And, you know, if she's out there, then we need her home. Uh, but everything happens for a reason. Right. We, we have to trust in the Lord, and right. have faith. Yes. And, and um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to working really hard. and. We're just gonna get right to it, you know. We'll leave here and we'll go up, we'll start at Avocado and then we'll go to Pine Flat. Uh, you know, we'll be flying drones as well and it'll be a long, hard day because this is just what we do. You can see a car right here. Stay tuned for episode two on our search for 22-year-old Jalissa Fuentes. Thank you.